So uh, let's start working at this new uh, new shader and new. So this material is a little bit different, and we go to create. Uh, let's call it rock one. We go to assign it, and we'll try to prepare a more similar to a shader more similar to a rock. Um, we start working on the diffuse, and this one will be again a composite. I'm using the composite because the composite gives you the possibility to stratify different details over the surface, and you know that rocks are really complex, so it is the best way to simulate it. So let's start with the first layer, and the first layer will be again um, a cellular and this one will be nice to give some details so we use a really low spread so you see we have just some points all around and we go to change also a little bit the middle let's go for something like that and 042 to have you see less points around and uh, we go also to have more little scale and in this way we'll have some dots over the surface let's go uh, for a render okay as you see we have a lot of dots but i like to have not just the black as the background so to do something like that we have to change the division color that now is black and we'll do it using a map so we'll use a noise and the noise will use a fractal. This fractal map will use uh, there maybe a gray color. Let's go for 14. And this one will be something like a brown. Let's go for something like that. Okay, so you see we have a nice brown color. We have to scale down there and we like to have more levels. So if we go to render now, we'll have a little bit uh, different levels of detail because you see we have a different color. So we have darker area and brighter area. Okay. Uh, let's go up and we can add another layer over it. So next layer will add more details and uh, it will be again a noise and this noise can be uh, let's go for a swoop of the color because i like to add some details there we have a turbulence and we go to change this one with a really low value and we rise up a little bit this one to have more clear details we go for more levels to have more uh, details for the noise and we go lower for the sides. If we go to render, we'll have uh, these details you see over the surface. We go to change the white color using a cellular, so we'll have no uh, planar white, but we'll have some details inside it. So we go for a cellular map and this one can have something like a yellow deer and a brown deer. We go really low with the sides and all the other stuff can stay like the default. So we'll have just as detail inside this map. If we go to render, we'll have this map, but now are not white, but I have all these details inside it. Then we have just to see how to use this map. And we say to use this one as an average. So it's a average between this one and the second one. But we use as 35 for the opacity. So it will be just visible a little bit over the old map we created. So you see that we have this strange detail. So let's move forward and let's add more details. Let's add a new layer and this layer will be again a noise. And 
and this one will be maybe a dark brown and a yellow or similar to yellow we go for a fractal and we go lower with the high and the low to create more contrast then we go for a really little detailing so if we use this map obviously now we have just this kind of noise over the entire surface I like to use a mask so we'll use this one just in some area this mask will be a mix between two noises because I like to create some complex masking so the map will be a noise and we'll go to use a low sides turbulence to create just some area with an eye contrast so we'll have really high detailing for this area and more details there and then we say to use this one mask it sorry I'm using the mix and that's wrong let's copy uh, discard the old map and then this one will be a mask keep all the old mask so this one will be again a noise and this one will be uh, again a turbulence to create contrast there with more details and we go lower so we'll have this kind of masking let's see the result in this way as you can see we have some details just on some area of our rock let's go to add another level of detail and we go for a cellular map and then I like to have no division color so it will be just white dots let's go with a really high value for the spread so uh, now we can tune some parameters like um, just a little bit of tuning maybe there and then just a little bit maybe more there and then we go for the chips so you see we have some dots and we go for a really low value there and then we set how to use the map and I mean we go for screen and we'll use it at 100% so as you see it's really really nice this addition and I like to make the last change I like to add another passes, another layer, and this one will be a noise to create some more variation. So let's go for a noise, and this one will be a fractal with a really high level. And we can use a black and maybe a dark brown. So let's go for something like that. Okay the sides will be more level let's say to use this one as 100% so we see how it is going just to see this map you see that's how it is working okay and we can maybe mask this one to create some variation so let's go there and let's use again a noise the noise will be used as turbulence we go for an higher level and we go to create an eye contrast so maybe something like that and there 0 41 so you see we have just some uh, white area that will add that detail over the surface we'll use this area to create more details over the surface and now you can see how we go to create a bump and essentially the bump will be 
a composite. So we go to have a composite. And we can stay with a 30 for the level of usage. And then we can go to have the first one. The first one will be a general noise level. And we go to create a two brands to create to simulate a rocky structure with more levels to have more detail. And we go lower. Let's render. So as you can see, this is really interesting because it seems uh, really uh, a rocky structure, but I like to use it a little bit less. So let's go to set the bump amount to 0 3. So we'll have just a little bit of uh, noisy over the surface and then we'll work on the uh, brown area we created before so you see it's just a little bit okay uh, let's go to add a new layer and this one will be uh, again uh, a noise this noise will be used to create holes inside the structure so we need uh, turbulence we need a really high contrast map and we go to more levels we swap the color so we have the black and we go to use the little scale now we need to change the bump mapping because I like to create holes so it needs to be negative we can go for 0 0.5 and this map will be used as multiply and uh, we leave at 100% so we'll have just the holes uh, over the surface so you see that the detailing is really really nice and we have a lot of detailing over the rock so uh, let's see how it looks if we have a really high detailing on the uh, on the rock so let's render in this way. Okay, you see that uh, it is really nice, but I like to take care about the reflectivity of this surface. So the first thing we can do is to create a map. And this map should use the reflectivity, let's say maybe 0, 07 with a little bit of um, glossiness, and we'll use this map as a copy so we can control how to use the uh, reflectivity based on the uh, surface detail so the first level uh, was this one and I like to remove the map and have reflectivity also at the base let's go to the next one and this one is using a um, the yellow but we go for the white and there with the gray let's go to the next layer this one too needs to use the white and the gray so let's go for a gray color there and there to a white color and using just the saturation so we are uh, really uh, a really nice fidelity in the coloring for the other stuff there we have the right color because the we have the white and the black I like to tune just the uh, the map there so we don't need to use the map we need to move this one as a copy we remove this one and we say to use this one with the inverted color so we we'll use the black and it will became a multiply so we remove reflectivity in this area um, checking this texture I saw uh, that I made a mistake and I mean in the first layer there we have 63 that's the default value but I'd really like to have a really little detailing there so now we have a really nice reflectivity controlled by the map we can save and re-render this test 
Okay, uh, as you can see, we have a really nice reflectivity over this rock, and uh, it will be really nice uh, in rendering also using a different coloring, like some uh, black or darker gray or something like that. So, uh, this one is ready, and we can use it inside the scene so we can remove and save, and we can move to the next one. So, let's select both isolate and zoom to this one.